todavía lo tenemos de what the judges don't know when they make that determination an immigration judge makes the determination for deportation is the extreme suffering and pain that that causes the family I had heard in the morning on the radio there was a racial profiling and they were detaining uh, Hispanic men in Jinx the police told him that he had an outstanding car ticket, uh, you know, traffic ticket, and he was driving without a license, so that was a pretext for them to, to arrest him and to take him down into the Jenks jail. And we went and we took to check in to see and to inquire further about what was happening. They told us that he was not going to be released because they had found uh, drug paraphernalia and including some crack. I ended up hiring a private attorney to get us through this, and eventually all the charges were in fact dropped, uh, but he had been placed in an ice hold. He was unauthorized to be in the country, and that was grounds for deportation. February 22. That's the day he was deported. We have to cut back on our food, we have to cut back on our outings, we have to cut back on clothing, we have to just live in a way that we can't have any additional expense just so that we can survive. And when the kids might ask for chicken nuggets and coke, that would be the treat that she can't afford. We've tried our best just to kind of keep moving forward. The children, of course, miss him terribly. They always ask me, when is our daddy returning? And Angel is the one who has the biggest fear. He doesn't want to go to school. He seems to put up the biggest resistance. He's afraid that I drop him off at school, that I won't be back to pick him up. And so it's a constant struggle trying to get him to go to school and to drop him off uh, and to be separated from him. <laughs> So the fear of deportation is the main issue that's affecting our immigrant community here. It has caused a lot of uncertainty as to when will someone be picked up for a minor traffic violation that could lead to detainment and deportation. It's very scary for um, our immigrant community because the 287G contract exists here in our county with the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office, which means that they have an agreement with the Department of Homeland Security with ICE to um, hold ICE detainees locally, but they get to profit off of detaining and deporting. When someone's deported, you don't know when you will see them again, especially if they're being deported to parts of a country, their native country, that have extreme violence. You don't even know if you will get to see them alive again because that has happened to um, some children in our community. They have lost a parent who lost their lives being deported back to their uh, native country. It really affects the mental health and physical health of children, which um, also impacts their performance in school. It's just, it's so complex and the consequences affect so many people. Because ICE knows that his deportation was completely unfair and it was unjust and unfounded. It should never have happened. That's what's, the, that's what's so tragic. I mean, it's ruining, ruining lives and a few as citizen children. We have, we have no extended family or support system, so our whole life has now been restructured around this tragedy. So what I have to do is I have to try to find the jobs. I have to work more, but I have to be very strategic in the types of jobs I get because I don't want for my jobs to be so absorbing that they take me away from the kids because my main job is to make sure they don't get derailed. So I have to find jobs where I can still, uh, you know, maximize the most amount of money I can for the amount of time that's not away from the kids. The best thing I can do is sales. That's going to probably most likely be the best scenario for me in terms of, you know, uh, my economic sustainability. The number one thing is that as a mother, I'm going to do first and foremost what's best for my children. And so for me to take them to Mexico, it, the, the, what's problematic about that is that, you know, they're going to experience violence, they're U.S. citizens, they're not Mexican, it's not the best interest of the children for me to go there. So.
just any. Small I left Mexico to try to get away from the intensity of the violence. And I got here and I met Jorge. It, 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 this is him. Um, it's for me to go back there. It's just I can't go back to that violence, and he's having to live it now.